I have here in my hand a reel that you guys have requested and recommended more than any other reel by far here on this channel. We're about to open this thing, spool it up, and then go fish with it right here in this video. Let's get into it. Uh, yeah. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. I have a special unboxing for you guys today. In this one, we're going to be opening up and taking a look at a new reel, a reel that you guys have requested and recommended without a doubt more than any other reel here on this channel. Every time I ask you guys, hey, what reel should I get next? What reel do you guys want to see me unbox and use? This reel is hands down by an overwhelming margin recommended more than any other reel. I can't tell you how many comments I've got, probably hundreds telling me to get this specific reel and I finally pulled the trigger. It's here. We're going to open it, take a look at it. We're going to get it mounted up, spooled up, and then I'm not going to make you guys wait. We're actually going to go fish with it right here in this video, and I'm going to give you guys my first on the water impressions. Before we get too deep into the video, if this is your first time watching or if you have not already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help me color in the bar back there on the subscriber board. I put out new fishing videos all the time and I would love to have you guys riding along with what we got going on over here. If you like what you see, if you like hanging out with me, if you enjoy the unboxing, consider subscribing. Kick those notification bells on so you'll catch all my future content. Now, also want to say a quick thank you to everybody who watched the previous reel unboxing video, the video where we unboxed and spooled up the Corrado 70 MGL. That video is doing really well. It got around 5,000 views in the first 48 hours of being live. And I know that may not be a lot in the grand scheme of things here on YouTube, but to me on this channel, that's a lot of views in less than two days. And I thank you all for engaging so heavily on that video. I'm glad to see so many of you out there enjoying it. But we're gonna crack off into a new one today, one that you guys have been asking for for a long time, and hopefully this video will do just as well, if not better, than the last real unboxing. In addition to the unboxing, we're also gonna do a giveaway here in this video. It's gonna be really easy. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and go down below and leave me a comment. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that here in a second. But first, we're gonna open up and take a look at the items that I'm going to be giving away. And that's what I got right here in this package. Shout outs to Nathaniel Reynolds from West Virginia. He reached out to me, said he had some baits that he wanted to share with you guys. Wanted me to do a giveaway. So let's crack off into here and see what he donated for one of you. Going off of what he told me and from what I see here on the envelope, I'm willing to bet it's some heaters only in here. It says heaters only, Faduda. Speaking of Faduda, Faduda, fish every day until the apocalypse. We still have a lot of Faduda t-shirts left in the merch store, theheaterzone.com. My own merchandise is available on that website. If you guys wanna support the channel and pick yourself up a Faduda t-shirt or a heaters t-shirt, you can check out theheaterzone.com. We also have sticker packs, really cool sticker packs available over there on the low for you guys. So check out the Heater Zone. If you guys like the t-shirt I'm wearing, if you're interested in supporting the channel in general, picking up a piece of merch helps us keep the lights on over here. But let's crack off in this envelope and see what heaters Nathaniel sent to donate to the giveaway awesome man it's really cool of you shout outs and thank you to nathaniel for being such a cool viewer wanting to pass on some heaters to one of the other viewers that's a cool move let's see what we got in here first out the first one that i see oh looks like there's a note in here better read the note almost grabbed the bait first but then i spotted the note it says justin thanks for creating some bad a content I would like for you to give these heaters to one of your followers. Would be great if the winner had never used any of the six cents crankbaits. I hope these lures help catch someone's PB. Nate Bustin Berthas. Awesome handwritten note there from Nate. I too hope that these baits can go to somebody who has never used six cents baits or never used a six cents crankbait. Maybe help you fall in love with the crankbait game. Just like the six cents baits helped me fall in love with the crankbait game. That would be super cool. But we're going to make sure everybody here watching this video has a chance to get in. Like I said, all you got to do is like the video, subscribe, and drop me a comment. And I'll tell you a little bit more about how I'm going to pick the winner once we get through this package. But let's take a look at what Nathaniel sent in to share with you guys. First up, first thing I see is a Cloud9 C15. 15 foot diving cloud nine crankbait in shad sense color. Let's crack it open, take a look. Nathaniel let me know that he has never thrown these baits. These are brand new, even though I'm gonna open them up and let you take a look outside of the package right here. These baits have never seen the water and that right there is an excellent deep diving crankbait option for the cold weather months like December, January, February, when the water's really cold and those fish are down there a little deeper or suspended. This bait right here, it's really gonna help you get down there and get after them. <laughs> the shad sense. Cloud9 C15, awesome bait right there. This is a bait that I always have on deck. Sweet, dude. Starting that giveaway off pretty nice there with a C15. Awesome. Let's see what else. We got another one in here. Dang, dude, I'm 
pretty blown away that he decided to send this out to one of you guys. This right here, this is a killer, dude. This is just a killer. This is the Cloud9 Mini Mag SB 3.8. That's the chartreuse spank color. 3.8, 7 8 ounce, 83 millimeter, three to six foot diving magnum mini mag square bill crankbait. Boom, that's a killer. I'm stoked on that. I want that. I wish I didn't have to give this away. You know the rules. We gotta give this away. I done said it. I wish I hadn't said it, but I already said it. That's a straight smoke show of a bait right there. Somebody's getting the hook up from Nathaniel. Shout outs to Nathaniel. So here's how I'm gonna do this giveaway. It's gonna be really similar to the last giveaway. Like I said, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pick the most interesting, funny, compelling, standout comments. I'll pick like 10 or 15 of them, just like I did last time, and I'm gonna enter all those comments into a random number generator, and we will pick the winner right here on camera in one of the future videos coming up really soon. So drop me a line, let me know why you think you need these crankbaits. Square bill crankbait, C15 deep diver, let me know. Let me know if you've ever used a six cents crankbait before. Let me know if you're trying to build your confidence in crankbait fishing. I will go through and I will pick the comments that stand out to me and uh, we'll throw those into a random number generator and get the winner picked right here on video really soon. So that's it, super simple, free giveaway, six cents hard baits just awesome man once again thank you and shout outs to nathaniel for donating those baits for the giveaway just awesome now let's move on to the part of the video that i know you guys are here for you want to see what's in this box you want to see what reel i went with i bet you a bunch of you already know if you think you know go down below into the comments right now and drop me a comment don't cheat you can cheat it's whatever but don't cheat go down below drop a comment right now and let me know what reel do you think is in this box i want to know i want to see how many of you get it right i know a ton of you are going to get it right this reel right here has been suggested over and over and over again and i'm excited to finally get it on the channel i'll tell you guys a couple things before we even crack off into it this will be the most expensive fishing reel that i own i've never spent this much money on a fishing reel. One more hint, it is a Shimano. Surprise, surprise. You guys know me, I use Shimanos. That's just the way it is, because I love them. And I can't wait to get my hands and my eyes on it. We're gonna crack into this box and take our look and get our first impressions right now here together. Let's do it. As always, I'm going to be using the Bottle Butcher from Bird Blades to crack into this box. Let's slice and dice and get it going. I know you guys are ready to see this just like I am. Man, I'm excited. I'm gonna let you see it. Did you already see it? Try not to give it away. I'm gonna pull it out of here sideways. Did you leave your comment? Did you leave your guess? Here it is. Boom, there it is guys. The Shimano Scorpion DC 100 HG. This is the 7.2 to one gear ratio, the HG version. But we're gonna get off into this box and take our first look at this thing right now. So many of you guys have recommended this reel to me and I'm excited. I'm excited to take our first look at the Scorpion. she is shimano scorpion 100 hg oh it's got that glitter got that sparkly sparkly going on i don't know how well you guys can see that but it's got that glitter effect all around all over the whole reel actually that's cool awesome sweet dude let me get a little look at it too I'll try to show you guys first but awesome scorpion dc5 the main difference between this reel and the other dc reels that i own slx dc and the corrado dc both of which i have several of have the idc4 braking system this has the idc5 braking system now i'm not able to go too deep into the specific technical details and the differences between the two but i know this one's supposed to be better people rave about this reel and i'm excited to put it to use here on the channel with you guys huh first thing i notice it has that sparkly gloss finish all the other reels that i own from shimano they have more of a matte finish. This is glossed out. Also, I'll just go ahead and get the one thing that I don't like about the reel out of the way right now is this little red tension knob right here. The red accents on the tension knob. I'm just not a big fan of red, but that didn't stop me from picking this thing up. So many of you recommended it, wanted to see it. And I've had a lot of people tell me this is a really awesome reel. So I'll be honest, I've been wanting to try it out myself for a while. It has five different modes. It has A mode and then four other modes, modes one through four. I'll be doing a little more reading up on what those modes are for exactly before I get out there onto the water. And we'll talk a little bit about that once we're out there fishing with this thing, which we are gonna do right here in this video. So don't click off. You guys go down below in the comments and let me know if you have one of these things or if you've ever used one. Let me know what you think, your first impressions on the score 
Scorpion DC. Feels really smooth to me. One thing I do notice is that when I spin the reel handle really fast, I don't hear the, uh, the DC braking system kicking on. It's not zinging and zagging, not laser disking in there. When I spin the reel handles on the Corrado or the SLX really fast, even when it's off the rod like this, I do hear the, the braking system kicking on. So that's a difference. I don't know why that is, but we'll find out. First things first, I gotta get this thing spooled up with some line. Tell you guys a little bit about what I'm gonna do in regards to line. I'm gonna run a small monofilament backing and then I'm gonna put 16 pound Sunline FC Sniper fluorocarbon on there. And that's gonna be it. I know you guys wanna know what rod I'm gonna pair it up with. Now, if you guys watched my recent rod unboxing video, you saw where we unboxed four new rods from Sixth Sense and I got a couple new Corrado Ks and then we got the Corrado 70 MGL to pair up with the Lux Series rod and we had one rod left and that is the rod that I'm gonna use to pair up this Scorpion DC and that rod is the Sixth Sense ESP. This is a seven foot, three inch heavy power, moderate fast action rod and I think this is gonna pair up great with the Scorpion. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead and get it mounted up, see what it looks like on a rod and then we'll uh, spool it up with line and go fish with this thing for the first time. All right, it's on, it's mounted. And there it is guys, mounted up. That is an awesome looking combo right there. Check that out, sick, sweet, stoked on that. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly run a small amount of monofilament on here for my backing, and then I'm gonna tie my connection knot, tie some fluorocarbon onto that. You guys have seen me do that a bunch of times over here on the channel, so I'm gonna spare you. I'll try to just move through it really quick, and then we'll head out onto the water with this thing, throw it around and get our first impressions. Maybe we'll catch a fish, maybe we won't. It would be nice if we could, but either way, I'm just gonna get out there and make some casts with this thing, let you guys know what I think about it. Right out of the box, out there on the water for the first time using this Scorpion DC. Awesome, let's get it spooled up with some line. I guess while I'm getting this backing put on I can go ahead and tell you guys about the price price on this thing $340 after tax I could get it here in one day if I got it off of Amazon so that's what I went with you can get the six to one gear ratio the regular version the non HG version for a little under $300 before tax so if you guys are interested in scooping up one of these things for yourself they're not cheap this is definitely the most expensive reel that I've ever purchased but I'm looking forward to seeing if it lives up to the price and to the hype once we get it out there on the water now I'm gonna run a really short monofilament backing because this is a 100 size spool not gonna hold as much line as the 150s or the 200s but you guys know I like to run a monofilament backing if you're interested in learning more about why I do that go watch some of my other rod and reel unboxing videos where I spool up new setups I talk in depth about why I run a backing and I don't use electrical tape on my reels there are benefits to both but this is just the way I like to do it so I'm gonna get this backing ran then we'll get this fluorocarbon on there and we'll get out on the water with the scorpion see how she does stoked now as far as line choice goes when I'm running my backing, I'll be honest with you guys, I just use whatever's lying around. Name that movie. This right here happens to be some Berkeley Trilene 14 pound monofilament. All right, so I've run just enough backing to build up a small base layer around the spool, not to take up too much room on that 100 size, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill the rest of it up with this FC Sniper from Sunline, 16 pound fluorocarbon line. Let's go. Tie my connection knot, Alberto knot, reel it on, and then we'll be headed out onto the water. Give this thing our first impressions from out there on the boat. I'm excited. All right, I got my connection knot secured. Now all we have to do is fill this thing up with fluorocarbon, then get our bait tied on, and then we'll head out onto the water and get our first impressions of this thing. Let me finish this up, and then I'll show you what bait I'm gonna go with. Something that I haven't used yet something a little bit new out there on the marketplace we'll get it rigged up and ready to go here in just a second all right i have the scorpion filled to the brim with that fluorocarbon it's one thing i like about the smaller size spools is they don't have as much line capacity but they also don't take up as much of your expensive line so that's cool i can conserve my sniper that way make that uh 660 yard spool go a little bit farther Sunline fluorocarbon. I swear by it. It's good stuff. There's a look at the reel and the setup all spooled up, full of line. It's a pretty clean looking rig right there, if I must say so myself. Got that whole sparkly action going on. If only that thing wasn't red. What really matters is how it performs on the water, and we're going to find out shortly. But for a bait, I'll show you guys what I'm going to go with. You guys saw me open up this one recently in a video where we did a bait unboxing. This right here is the Stealth Blade Jackhammer. This is a new one from Z-Man. What makes it the Stealth Blade is, you notice, instead of having the normal metal blade up front, get this thing cracked open. I'll show you. So you can really see here. 
that it has a plastic blade, a clear plastic blade. Gonna be a little bit more stealthy, hence the name, the Stealth Jackhammer. This thing is not cheap, but hey, I believe there's a, a bit of a difference between this and the normal chatterbait. You could definitely tell once you get it into the water. Once I saw that Stealth blade on there, you know, I fish a lot of really clear water, and I was like, that might be a good option to have on the boat out there for wanting to fish a chatterbait. So I went ahead and treated myself, sprung for one, and that's what I'm gonna tie up onto this setup right here. I believe this will be a good option. Three eighths ounce, I'm gonna add a little bit of weight to it with the trailer, but this is a 7.3 heavy, moderate fast action rod, which is gonna be excellent for fishing a chatterbait. Had this thing on the wall, really wanna try it out, and uh, was standing here staring around trying to figure out what kind of bait I was gonna tie on, and I was like, I think that'll be a perfect option for this setup, at least for the first time out there on the water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Six Cents bait bag right here, available now on SixCentsFishing.com. Speaking of Six Cents, they are, at the time of me shooting this video, doing their Black Friday special. You can save 20% off everything on the website with code BF20 at checkout all the way through Cyber Monday. So if you're watching this before Cyber Monday 2020, BF20 at checkout is going to save you the bread on the bait bags and everything else as well. If you're watching this after Cyber Monday, no worries because I can still help you save some money. Just use the code JR10 at checkout and that's going to give you 10% off everything on the website. It's also a great way to help support the channel if you like what we have going on over here. But I have this thing loaded up with paddle tail swim baits and I'm going to go ahead and grab what I feel is going to be a great option for this chatterbait out of here. The Kitek 3.3 Fast Swing Impact and Sexy Shad. I was sitting here staring at these baits trying to figure out which one would be the best and I landed on this one. So this is what we're going to get this chatterbait rigged up with to go out and throw it around for the first time. I also feel another great option would be this electric Shiner 3.2 Devon swim bait. Uh, it was tough not to pick that one, but I'm going with the fat swing, I'm trying to keep it super natural. Also, mm, that smell. Whoo! Let's rig up this chatterbait, man. You guys know how to do this, but we're gonna do it right here on camera together anyway, straight through the nose. It's a little bit shorter paddle tail than I normally use. Normally I throw the 3.8s, but I want a little compact snack size morsel for those bait fish chasers. Still fall time practically here in Texas, so. That's what I'm going with right there. Nice compact package, really natural. Gonna be really great in my clear water. Look at that thing, awesome. The Stealth Blade Jackhammer with the Kitek 3.3, money. All right, let's get this bait tied on. And then we'll go do what I know all of you wanna see me do, which is fish with this thing. All right, got my bait tied on rigged up, ready to go, nothing left to do, but do a little research, make sure I got this thing adjusted properly, and then head out there on the water and put it to the test. Let's go. All right, we are out here on the water for the first time with the Shimano Scorpion DC 100 HG. This will be my first time ever casting this reel, bringing you guys along for the ride. I promised you a fishing portion in this video and we're out here about to crack it off right now. Just look at it, sparkling in the sun. That's awesome. Feels good in the hand. Got that chatterbait tied on. Spent some time learning about the braking system in this. I've got it set on auto internally. I have the line setting set on fluorocarbon. And I've got my spool tension adjusted about how I would have it adjusted normally. I'm gonna tighten it down just a little bit since this is brand new line and I don't wanna backlash on the first cast. We're just gonna give this thing a, a good chunk here. See how it does. I'm in a relatively calm spot. We're gonna test it out here first and then we'll head out into some wind. See how it does when she's blowing and going. But this will be my first cast ever. Scorpion DC. Let's do it. Nice. No backlash. Fishing that uh, Jackhammer Stealth Stealth Blade. I don't know how well we'll do out here today. I'm not making any long runs. I'm just hitting a couple little spots trying to test out the reel, but it would be nice to catch a fish. But really, uh, this video is all about the Scorpion DC. I'm giving you guys my first impressions. I'm still thumbing it just a little bit but no backlash. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good heave ho and I'm not gonna thumb it. We're just gonna see what happens. Tighten that spool tension down just a little bit more. All right, here we go. Nice, probably cast it about, I don't know, 20 yards, 25 yards maybe. Could probably loosen that spool tension up, get it rolling a little bit farther. And we'll uh, switch through the modes here. It's got A mode, which is automatic sort of just does its thing and then you got one through four which is set up for different weights different baits that went about five yards further that time i'm gonna go ahead and loosen that spool tension just a little bit more go ahead and let it fly nice nice that one sailed a little bit further 
Not bad at all. Not bad at all for the first few casts. No backlash. You can hear it zinging. Got that laser mode on. Zing! It's working. IDC5 braking system. This is my very, very first experience with the IDC5 braking system. Scorpion DC. Shoot. I ain't mad at it so far. Let's go ahead and roll through some of the modes down here on the bottom. I'm on A setting now. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to setting number four now. I believe that's the most restricted setting. So I think our casting distance might be inhibited here, but we'll just find out. Yeah, that slowed it down a little bit. It didn't go quite as far there. I could feel, I could feel the brakes kicking on on that one. That one's not going to work for me. I don't need setting number four, at least not for this bait. Let's go ahead and get it back in. Let's roll it over to setting number three. See what that feels like. Not much different than the A setting, if I'm being honest. That felt really similar to what it felt like in auto. I don't know if my distance was uh, all there, but it was smooth. I saw it start to get a little bit of overrun, and then it, it, took, it took the backlash right out of it. I'll try to hold it up to the camera so you guys can see the spool work in here. I'm gonna, not even going to thumb it at all. Nice. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I'll do it once more, and then we'll switch over to setting number two. See how that works for us. No backlash yet. I've stopped thumbing it completely. No thumb action here. I'm just uh, just flinging it. Just sending it. Seeing what happens. Larry and Tyser style. One more time. Here we go. Nothing. No overrun. I'm going to loosen the spool tension just a little bit. I'm getting some good casting distance. It's probably going about 25, 30 yards every cast. I'm not really... I'm not firing it as hard as I could, but... Again, this is the 7-2 to 1 gear ratio. Loosen that spool tension up just a little bit. Let's send it one more time. See if we can get a little bit of overrun going and let the reel do the work. Here we go. Oh, you saw it there. Definitely got a little bit farther distance on that cast. And you saw it uh, just immediately handle what little bit of overrun it had. And I even loosened the spool tension a little bit on that cast. Setting number 3. I'm going to go ahead and roll over to setting number two now, see what happens. I'll be honest, I'm liking the auto setting so far and that setting number three for this bait. So let's go to two. There we are, we're on number two. I'm going to leave it alone. Bait's pretty much in free fall when I hit the button. Send it. Uh, yeah, casted much farther that time. Slight overrun, and then the reel just handled it. I'm liking that setting right there. Setting number two for this bait, this weight setup, whew, that was money right there. It probably went about five yards further than it had on any of the other casts. Maybe about 30, 35 yards there on that one. Not bad at all. Awesome. Yeah, that feels good, dude. That feels good. My tendency is to thumb the thumb the spool. You know, I just I try to stay in that in that good habit because I switch back and forth in between DC reels. And traditional style reels all the time so I'm always you know feeling my reel getting getting that feeling with my thumb but that right there that felt good with no no thumbing action on that on that bomber cast I just sent let's do it one more time see what happens I'm casting with the wind I also want to make that note we're not out in the wind yet it's pretty calm here just a little bit of tailwind but let's send it one more time setting number two no thumb I'm gonna fire it Oh yeah, as you see that that uh it definitely wanted a backlash there. That would have backlashed any other reel for sure. Cause I just horrible technique and just flung it as hard as I could with no thumbing. Lots of overrun on that cast and the Scorpion DC just sucked it all right out. I don't know how well you guys could see that on camera or if you could see it at all. But that was definitely a cast that would have backlashed on any other setup. Let me do it one more time. Oh man, it's going, it's it's going far now. Not as much overrun on that one, but definitely setting number two. Yeah, that's the heat so far. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it over to setting number one and see what happens. Then I'll loosen my spool tension a little bit more. So far, setting number two is the money. Setting number one. Here we go. See what happens. As you can see there, it really wanted a backlash and the Scorpion handled it no issue. It sucked all of that overrun right out of the reel. 
that would have backlashed any of my other setups. Even my even my DC reels, my SLXs, my Corrado DCs, that would have been a backlash right there. This DC is money. This Scorpion is legit. Yeah, if you're looking for a reel that will actually help you not backlash, the Corrado DC, the SLX DC, IDC4, it gives you some assistance, but you're still gonna backlash those reels, especially if you've never used a baitcaster. This one right here, shoot. Setting number one, I think is just a little bit too loose. Got a little bit more potential for backlash. It's trying to overrun every cast, even casting with the wind, but the Scorpion is handling it like a champ. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back over to setting number two. I'm gonna loosen my spool tension just a little bit. Now I'm just gonna fire it. Awesome. Setting number two is legit. This is a 3 8 ounce. Stealth blade jackhammer. As you can see there, it wanted to backlash a little bit on me. Might have to tighten that spool tension down just a little bit. I'm not trying to backlash it. Let me just be clear, I'm snagged up on something. I'm not trying to backlash this thing. I'm just wanting to see how it handles the backlashing. And it's definitely pulled every bit of overrun or backlash out of this reel on every cast. I have not had it stop or get stuck or tangled on me one time awesome i think now the thing to do is going to be head out into the wind and do the same thing we'll go cast this thing directly with the headwind coming straight at us and see how she does hopefully i didn't just lose my jackhammer oh, we're good give you guys a look at the bait that's what i'm throwing stealth blade jackhammer feels nice i feel it vibrating down there it's working like it should got that clear plastic blade on the front that's different You guys know I'm fishing a lot of clear water, so that might help me out here. Looks awesome in the water. It's definitely working. Kicking and flicking. Side note, the ESP rod is awesome. This thing feels great. Awesome, moderate action, heavy power rod. I mean, it is nice. Fish the medium heavy a little bit. This is my first time fishing this ESP a lot of you guys have been asking me how I like it this is my first few casts here on the 7.3 heavy moderate fast and it is money all right initial first impressions on the Scorpion DC not having had it in any heavy winds yet casting it over here in a calm cove settings a through one I'm really digging setting number two spool tension adjusted as I normally would I feel like I'm getting a little bit better casting distance once we get out into the wind, I will roll through the other settings just like we did over here. I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to auto. Auto mode. Yeah, that that uh that mode right there definitely keeps keeps any sort of backlash out of the reel faster. Like as soon as it starts acting funny, it just sucks that that line back into back into line, so to speak. Sucks the line back into line. Yeah. Auto is the money if you're just looking to go out here and fish with this thing and not worry. Not have to thumb it at all, just fire it around. That's nice, dude. I like that. I like that auto setting. That's cool. Still getting great distance out of it, too. I just cast a little bit farther. Maybe thumb it a little bit on setting number two. Might roll back over to setting number three on our way out of here, see how that does. But auto is great. That's awesome, dude. This reel is smart. Let's put it on setting three. Number four, I didn't like. That's too too much restriction. Yeah, yeah, number three is really smooth too, man. It is a smooth reel. I don't believe it has micro gears. So that's a difference, but man, it is smooth. Yeah, setting number three might be the way for this bait right here. It's feeling a, a little bit more like auto in regards to backlash control, spool control, but I'm getting a little bit better distance. We're now headed into the wind, throwing this thing directly into a headwind. The wind isn't blowing and going so hard out here today, but it's definitely not to our back now. It's coming straight in. See how, oh, there's a fish. You guys see that fish? Look at that fish right there. Following the chatterbait. I think that fish would have taken a bite right there. I wasn't burning it. I was just burning it back to the boat. He chased it all the way up. Just a little one to two pound large amount there. Rolling with that jackhammer. That's a good sign. A little reaction. 
little reaction taking place there. Scorpion DC, 100 HG, seven to one gear ratio. That's what we're throwing out here today. Trying to find one eating while we're at it. I'm gonna loosen that spool tension just a little bit. I'm still on setting three. I really like that. That's nice. It just, as soon as it barely even tries to overrun, I can just hear it. It just sucks whatever inconsistency is in the cast right out of the reel. Straight up, first impressions on the Scorpion. Is it better than the Corrado DC and the SLX DC? The answer might be obvious, but as of right now, if I had to answer, I would say, yeah, this is, this is a step above. This is nice. All you guys that were telling me you weren't lying this thing is nice i'm really liking it the only thing i don't like about this reel so far is that red knob on the side and i bet you i can get a replacement for that or change the color somehow setting number two directly into the wind so smooth i think that might be the correct setting for this 3 8 ounce i'm gonna have to do a little bit more research as far as what uh weights are covered by the different settings but setting number two so far has been my absolute favorite today i'm getting the best distance smoothest cast absolutely no backlash even directly into the wind you see there it started to overrun a little bit the scorpion just sucked it right out no problem yeah we're out here back towards the main point wind's coming directly into us now no issue distance is awesome on this thing too i'm not even i'm not even really chunking it that hard i'm just giving it a normal little medium power cast and it is flying dude it's sailing i'm sailing away come on bobby yeah dude even when i just do a little sidearm or roll cast shh, getting awesome distance on this Does anybody want to buy some corrado dcs <laughs> Oh man, Scorpion is money. First impressions on the Scorpion DC. It's awesome. It's awesome, dude. Setting number two has been my favorite so far. Getting the best distance with the least amount of backlash with my spool tension adjusted how I like it. You adjust your spool tension however you want. I'm not saying my way is right or wrong. I'm not saying your way is right or wrong. I'm just telling you guys how I do it. And I run it, I tend to run it a little bit loose, you know, I'll try to get the best distance out of that thing. My honest first impressions, this reel outperforming the SLX DC and Corrado DC platforms with just a short amount of time that I've had out here on the water with it. Once again, a little quick recap, I'm running it on setting number two, fluorocarbon line selection, spool tension adjusted how I like to adjust it, 3 8 ounce jackhammer stealth blade, 16 pound Sunline Sniper fluorocarbon, ESP rod, the new ESP rod from Six Sense Fishing 7.3, heavy, moderate, fast. Awesome. I'm going to go try to catch a fish, but that's my honest first impressions of the Scorpion DC, which is what this video is all about. Thank you guys for hanging out with me in the unboxing and then sticking around for the on the water portion of the video. If I can catch a fish, you'll see it. If not, we'll head back to the house and wrap this thing up from inside the garage. Yee! Awesome. Stoked on the new reel. You guys were right. It's money. Nice. Hooked up with a decent one on the scorpion, on the chatter bait. Nice. That's a nice fish. Sweet. Oh, yes, sir. It's a good two, two and a half pounder. Sweet. Stealth blade. First fish on the scorpion DC right there, guys. Took me a while to find them. But I got him. Boom. Sick. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Sweet. There's one more look at that fish. That's also the first fish on the new 7.3 Heavy Moderate ESP series from Six Sense Fishing. Felt great, man. Kept him hooked up. Boat flip boogie. No issue. First Scorpion DC fish right there. Let's let him go. You ready, buddy?
sweet dude sweet you put on a little show there for us <sighs> that was fun found one eating on that chatterbait dude that stealth blade boom sick he was over here in the rocks hit it practically as soon as it hit the water <laughs> engulfed it awesome first fish on a scorpion boom first fish on the esp 73 heavy boom <sighs> checking off the boxes out here today hope you guys are enjoying the video good times man new scorpion killing it love it loving every minute of it it's awesome and there that was guys the shimano scorpion dc unboxing first impressions and first fish video i'm gonna keep it short and sweet for the outro here if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing to the channel turn those notification bells on you'll catch all my future content maybe give me a thumbs up here on this video go down below drop me a comment to enter that giveaway links for everything that you saw me use in today's video will be down below in the video description also check out the heaterzone.com i have a black friday sale going on right now use code feduda20 at checkout for 20 percent off every Everything on the website all the t-shirts all the sticker packs thanks for tuning in i appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to watch my video but that's about all i got for you today that about does it that about wraps are on up so i'm gonna say goodbye for now and i'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.